many smartphones these days ship with a display that is capable of refreshing more than 60 times every single second. This helps improve the smoothness of the user experience and many of the user interface elements, but it turns out that apps themselves are able to set a max display refresh rate if they so choose. See, when a developer creates an application, they also put together a manifest file. This file allows developers to set certain options that that application will follow. So even though we're seeing smartphones like the Galaxy S22, the Galaxy S22 Plus, and the Galaxy S22 Ultra, all shipping with a display refresh rate of 120 hertz, some of the applications we install and use will refuse to perform at those speeds. So you can see when we are actively using the phone, our device is going to peg the display at 120 hertz. However, again, when we open up and use certain applications, like the stock camera app, in the Snapchat application, we're going to see that 120 hertz drop down to 60 hertz. Even when we are actively touching on the screen, and that's going to impact the performance or the perceived performance of our device. And you can see that go right back up to 120 right when we close out that application. So when you have our, your phone set at 120 on the refresh rate and we see applications like that drop it down to 60, that's because they are using a manifest that tells the smartphone it only wants to run at 60 frames per second, even if we have that phone set to 120. So in this video, I want to show you a small mod that will attempt to force all applications and games to utilize our 120 hertz display so that the user interface and the animations appear much smoother compared to if we were running the display at only 60 hertz. So for this little tweak, we are going to download and install an application from the Play Store called set edit. Once we have downloaded that application, we're going to go ahead and open it up and tap on OK here. So we're going to use this drop down menu on the right side to select the system table. And then at the very top, you should see this add new setting option. We're going to go ahead and tap this. And we need to name this setting. So we're going to name this min underscore refresh underscore rate. We're going to save those changes. And when it asks you to asks you to enter a value, we're going to do 0 0.1 and tap save change. Now we're going to do the tap new setting option again. This time we are going to type in peak underscore refresh underscore rate. Tap save changes again. And now again, just like before, our value for this is going to be 0 0.1. Now we're going to tap save change again. And that is all we have to do. Now we can minimize this application and you're going to want to go open any applications that you have seen drop from your set 120 hertz down to 60 hertz after it has been opened. I just showed you the example of that happening in the camera app. 
so that now whenever we open up a camera application and use it, we can see that the display refresh rate is going to max out at 120 now instead of dropping down to the 60 like it was set at before. If at any time you want to revert these changes and make things go back to how they were, we can go back into the set edit application. Again, make sure we are in the system table. We're first going to search for the min refresh rate option that we set and we can delete that whole row and then we go down to peak refresh rate again like we set before and delete the row now we just need to do a restart And when the phone boots back up, it will refer to those system table changes and make sure that the camera is not going to try to bypass the application's manifest when it comes to the max display refresh rate. So if you find there are some applications that ignore the adaptive setting that you set on the Galaxy S22 series, and you're seeing that it's dropping the refresh rate down to 60 or something similar instead of the 120 that your hardware is capable of, this mod should help you bypass those limitations.